Fly Babies, it's me, your fly lady, Cat, and I'm here today to give you peace in your life, control in your home, and help you learn how to finally love yourself. Today is Monday, and I'm so excited for you because Monday is a day to start anew, and I always love to do that myself. So let's start anew this week. We may have had a great week last week, we may have had a so-so week, we may have had an awful week, but here's our chance to start anew. So let's start it off with our three layer cake. The first layer is our routines. The second layer is our basic weekly plan. And the third layer is our zone. Simple as that. Today's layers, if you do them all together, are gonna to take you about uh, 30 minutes if you're the only one who has to do a morning routine. If you have family involved, an hour. If you have family and pets, possibly an hour and a half. But that's the morning routine. After that, our basic weekly plan today is our weekly home blessing hour. So that's an hour more. And then the last thing, we are in zone three, the bathroom and one other room. The most that you will spend on this room is 15 minutes. So the least you'll have today is about an hour and 45 minutes. If you have all three things to take care of in the morning, including pets, two hours and 45 minutes and then you're done for the day, yay. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's, we're gonna start with our um, payroll fly babies, our payroll lions strong, uh, because they have to get to work outside of the house. They have to clock in, they have to be there at a certain time. So we're gonna start all together with our morning routines, everyone. Morning routines, get up and do your morning routine, 30 minutes max. Um, take care of your children, put them through their routine. Remember, our children's routines are get up, make your bed, wash your face, brush your teeth, comb your hair, put on your clothes, wipe the toothpaste out of the sink, hang up your hand towel, put your PJs away or in the dirty clothes, come into the kitchen and eat your breakfast. That is the children's morning routine. Your routine is also simple like that. You may want to add one or two more things. Don't add too many. Don't overwhelm yourself. Okay. If you don't know what your routine is, please go to my video, How to Do the Fly Lady System for Newbies, on my homepage, and you will understand everything we're talking about, and then this daily video will become a tool for you. Okay? All right, a tool that you'll really benefit for, the right tool for the job. You'll benefit from the right tool for the job. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to work. If you're a payroll lion, you're going to get in your mode of transportation and go to work. You're gonna enjoy the trip there. You're not gonna be putting makeup on in the car. Um, when you get to work, you're gonna know everything's taken care of that could be in the morning. Uh, you're gonna enjoy your day. You're gonna say hello to your coworkers, friends, employees. You're gonna to go to your desk with your coffee and water or whatever it is you choose to your nice clean desk. Open up your control, your, your work control journal and work through your day, your week, your month, putting down your accomplishments, making sure that you're doing the things that you parsed out to do so that you can reach that conclusion of having that thing done, that project done. All right, next thing we're gonna do is think about our lunch and breaks. I know a lot of you work through your lunch, work through your break. It's not a healthy thing to do. I did it many years when I was in management. Uh, not so much in the end, I took an easy job at a bank and I had that time. But please make the time if you're in a management position or in a position where you feel like you don't you really want to work through your lunch hour, please make that, even if you're doing it at your desk in your office, release yourself from your work during that time for at least 20 minutes. Take the time for yourself. It's so important. All right, here we go. What are we thinking about at work today? Well, what we have going on at the house is weekly home blessing hour. If you're not there, it can't be done. So you might want to save it for Saturday or you can split it into six 10-minute segments and do one 10-minute segment tonight. Let's say we're going to do that. So tonight, when you get home, you're going to put your laundry in the machine like you always do. And listen for it. Make sure you put it in the dryer. Listen for it. Make sure you fold it. Hang it up while it's warm and sweet. Uh, you're going to go through an inch of paperwork so that you get rid of all the paper clutter in your house. You're not going to handle it. You're just going to sort it into requires action or filing. Anything else goes in the garbage. Um, and you're going to prevent that from coming in in the future by managing your mail, managing the children's things that come in the house, the work from school. Okay, so you might not have to do an inch of paperwork if you've gotten rid of it. And if you have, kudos. Okay. Um, 
after you've started that, you're going to start supper. You may think, it, may think it's too early, but that's okay. Your supper will hold. Make supper. You'll appreciate it later. Make your supper. While your supper, your dinner, is either simmering on the stove, baking in the oven, sitting in the crock pot, it's going to have a time that you won't be doing anything in the kitchen, but, you know, talking on the phone or whatever. Stop. Take the 10 minutes to go do your weekly home blessing hour. Let's say today we're going to strip the bed. So go in your bedroom. You know what? In this case, don't put your laundry on yet. Go in your bedroom first. Strip your bed. Put your sheets. That will be your laundry. Put your sheets in the machine. Wash it. Dry it. Put it back on the bed. Keep your ear out for it. You don't want to go to bed tonight with no sheets on the bed and your sheets are still wet in the washing machine. So be careful. But that will take care of your first part of your weekly home blessing hour. We'll do this all week. Okay, the second thing we're going to do is, um, that's only 10 minutes. And you, your food's going to cook in more than 10 minutes. So let's do our, um, our zone. Our zone is the master bathroom, oh no, the main, the, the main bathroom, not the master, not in your bedroom. The main bathroom and one other room. You get to pick one. So let's say today we pick the main bathroom. Now we'll already be uh, swishing and swiping every day, so there's no need to do that. Um, you're going to be mopping at some point during this week for your weekly home blessing hour, so there's no need to do that. Um, you're going to be emptying the garbage in there during your weekly home blessing hour, so there's no need to do that. So what can you do in there? Do you need to really give the shower a good scrub? You can do that in 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, probably less. Just spray it, stand in it, take your microfiber cloth and wipe it in portions until it's all wiped down. Ta-da! If you have a tub, step out of the tub, get down on your knees, spray the tub and wipe it down. You're done. Make sure that whomever takes a shower or bath every day wipes it down so it doesn't get nasty. But this will be the, the deep clean. Okay? You're done. Go back in the kitchen, finish supper. After supper today, we're going to do our after dinner routine. So we're going to come together with the rest of the week of the um, fly babies and everybody's going to be there together to do that. Let me bring in my at-home fly babies. Hello, at-home fly, fly babies. So what are you going to do today? Well, you're going to get up and do your morning routines, just like we talked about, and then you're going to do your weekly home blessing hour. So take the time to go through your house, 10 minutes at a shot. When the time is up, stop. But strip your bed, put the sheets in the washer, wash them, put them back on the bed later on today. Um, mop, that would be mop the kitchen and the bathrooms. Vacuum or sweep or dust mop your floors. 10 minutes, that means you're just getting the centers total. Um, uh, dust the whole house. If you have a fly lady duster or some other excellent ostrich feather duster, it will make the job a snap. If not, use something close to that, not near as close, but as close as you can get, which is a Swiffer duster. Um, but you're going to catch more dust with a, with a feather duster. Not a cheap one. you got to have a good ostrich feather duster. But it will last you for years and years and years. Okay, so after you've done that, we're going to empty all the garbage in the house. Um, and what do we have left? Let's see, we did the bed, we did the dusting. We, oh, we have to wipe the glass. I think we've covered everything. That should be six things. Bed, dust, garbage, glass, mop, floors. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so get that done in, t in 10 minute segments, so in an hour you're done, then rest a little bit. Then go into your bathroom and do one thing in there, just like we talked about. Now, if you have clutter in your bathroom, and when we talk about the main bathroom, if you have one bathroom, that's the main bathroom. If you have two bathrooms, one upstairs, one downstairs, I would say the upstairs, if it's used most by the family, would be your main bathroom. If you have three bathrooms, two upstairs, one downstairs, the one in the hall would be your main bathroom. The one downstairs is generally a powder room or for guests, and that's going to get done also at a different time. But right now we're talking about the main bathroom. So if it's cluttered, take 15 minutes and declutter it. Throw away, put away, give away. When you're done, you're done. If it's not cluttered, pick one thing to do. As I suggested before, let's clean the shower today. All right, now we're all going to come together for after dinner and do our after dinner routine as a family. We're pulling the family into this. We're not going to make it difficult. We're not going to turn around and see all the stuff we didn't pick up and clean as we went and it looks like a bomb went off in there. We're just going to have a couple of pots left that we were serving out of and the plates that we ate off of. 
We're going to put them in the dishwasher or the dishpan, wash them up, wipe the counters, wipe the table, sweep the floor. Not a big sweep, just a little sweep up of the flour you dropped or the onions or whatever. You could even do it with a paper towel. These things can be separated out for different family members to get it done. No perfection here, okay? After dinner, we're going to do a before bed routine. If you're exhausted, the children come first. I mean, you come first. <laughs> if you're exhausted, you come first. Take your, do your bed before bed routine right away and then take care of the kids. If you're not exhausted, then the kids come first. Take care of the kids. That's it for today. Don't forget to look at your calendar, your journal. Make sure everything is set for tomorrow and have a fabulous day. Don't forget that you are beautiful. Bye.